G'day! In today's video, I'm doing a charger port replacement on an S20 FE, or as I tend to call it, a fan edition. And this particular one has a very corroded charging port, so it will be getting replaced. And I have had it sitting on my blue heat pad here at 75 degrees Celsius, so it is quite toasty. That combined with some isopropyl alcohol, a fin metal pry tool, I should be able to get this back cover off relatively easily. If you don't have these tools, I'd highly recommend using heat or rubbing alcohol if you do have that option. I should be able to pry it into a gap here. I may have to use a thinner pry tool just to start it, and then I can usually lift it off. The back cover is made of basically a plastic, which the fan editions were known as the cheaper versions. So one of the ways they cheaped out was not having a glass covered back. So in turn, it makes it more durable, which personally I prefer. So I've let the isopropyl soak in a little bit. Go. It's starting to lift it. With a bit of luck, I should retain the adhesive that was already on there from the factory. The heat's helped here, the isopropyl got it started, and then the heat has enabled me to continue. There we go, and we've retained the gasket, as you can see. And we'll give it a clean around the frame when I'm done. Right now, with the phone off, you could choose to disconnect the battery, which would involve taking off this here and here. But being I'm already dealing with the charging side, not the mainboard side, I think I should be right just to proceed down the bottom here. So I'm using a triple zero Phillips head screwdriver. And all these screws here should be pretty much the same size. Or they will be the same size. Continue. Then we're going to need some tweezers, also a, uh, no we won't need the SIM eject tool, I'm just thinking the SIM cards on the bottom, no, there we go. Now one thing you will notice that may be different depending on where you got the charging board from, is some of them are from different regions, so particularly it might have different antenna cables on it. I'll show you in a sec. Lift this up, and there we go. Want to disconnect fingerprint scanner? Disconnect mainboard flex. Disconnect screen. And the antenna cables I'll do in just a moment. We still do just have a single Phillips head screw there to undo. Right here. This one will be different to the rest those screws that we just removed. One black one. So the black one is for the mainboard. Antenna connections need to come off. Didn't find flicking them up. Usually works. Red goes under white. And from there, lift up. And if we compare with the replacement one, we should find that hopefully these chips here and here should be the same. The pin connector should be the same. Another one up here, chip, chip, yep, yep. Along here, one, two, one, two, 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 two. I would say this is of a similar spec. There may be cheaper ones that are missing various chips on here. Uh, I'm not sure of the overall influence, but the impact I do see is usually weaker signal strength and slower charging. Looking along the back, we have the microphone also on there. So you do, if you do have microphone issues, you may have to replace this to resolve them. Turn it back around. I'll put my replacement one back in. It should be a matter of putting in the hop. Moving the cables out of the way. Pushing down. Give that another shot.
go, that's in. Charger port looks lined up. Connect up. Fingerprint scanner. Line it up, push down, should click into position. Same with the screen. Line it up, push down, should click into position. Same with the main body. Yeah, that should click into position as well. Next up is the antenna connections. White over red. Connect up red first. Feed him into the hole. Line it up over the top. Push down. Yeah, it's still working with this at 75 degrees, so it is quite hot to the touch. There we go. That's on. Should be able to wiggle it to prove that it's on. Ah, it was not on. So usually you should be able to twist it slightly when it's connected properly. It doesn't want to connect up properly, that just did bend it slightly. And also on the board there, it does say R, where red needs to go to. There we go. That's staying on there. The antennas are probably the more difficult ones to put on out of the bunch. Uh, let me put this back into there. Hold it down. Click and push. We're good. Put the black screw back in. Loudspeaker back on. Start it with the bottom and then push down. So this section in first on the lip, and then push down. And then proceed with your screws from there. Next up will be, well also here, you don't have to worry about which screws you're putting in. They are all of the same length. Actually, let me verify, yes. Here I'm going to give the frame just a quick clean on the inside around here, just along this groove. And I'll fold this down. And I'm just going to give the trim a bit of a clean. Just a flathead screwdriver. So along this section, normally dirt, dust, and grime accumulate. Go and just give it a quick brush. Avoid the cameras. And what I'll do as well, just to make sure I'm happy with it, will be I'll just put a thin bead of frame adhesive just around the outer perimeter. And this should hopefully should maintain the waterproof nature or water resistant nature. And now that I say that, I'm not sure if the S20 FE did have that IP rating. I feel like they didn't. But, being this just takes a second to do, it's, I'd say it's worthwhile doing. There we go. And since this has been at 75 degrees Celsius, my heat mat, should be right to put the back cover on now. Push down, lock it in, and just let that cool. And clamp it down from there, or rubber bands. Then I've already got the frame, uh, the frame double-sided tape on there from the factory. That glue, it should be holding that, and then the glue should bond it up a bit better from there. So that's how to replace the charging port in your S20 Fan Edition. Bye.